Beginning with KCAL Lines, Tom Waite, live in Acton. Tom. And Susie, these storms really caught a lot of people by surprise. I'm standing in someone's home that was pretty much ruined. Take a look at the ground here. You can see it is covered in mud. The water just rushed in here from the outside. The homeowner says the water came all the way up to the window on the outside, then spilled inside, and here's what you have. A massive downpour rocks Acton. The powerful system dumped so much rain, floodwaters trapped drivers across town and forced dramatic rescues like this one. This person obviously in a position where they could not get to him because of the fast moving water. The driver of this pickup truck had to be hoisted to safety by a helicopter crew. Floodwaters streamed into his cab, putting his life in danger. We're going to see this guy being whisked away to safety. We spoke with the man who was rescued. He was very grateful to firefighters who put their lives at risk for him. When you left for work this morning, did you ever imagine this would happen? Oh, no. I see flash flood warnings. I couldn't, I couldn't picture this. Not far away, a Metrolink train was stranded when the rains washed away some of the foundation underneath the tracks here in Acton. A passenger on board had to be helped off the train. He recently had brain surgery and was missing his medication. A couple rough sounds. You could hear the tracks like kind of buckling, but otherwise there was no note. We didn't feel anything besides a couple loud crashes. You could hear the tracks, the metal like moving. And then there were the damaged homes. This home was completely flooded. The water came all the way up to the windows outside. The floors and furniture are now covered in mud. And the helicopter was going to come down and rope me up. And then I, I said no because I had my dogs in the house. What? What? I've lived in Acton for 22 years. I've never seen anything like this, ever. And that couple tonight luckily has a trailer, and that's where they're staying. One more look here. You can see how expansive the damage is in this home from the ground here all the way in the hallway that goes all the way to the bathroom and all, their, all the other parts of this home covered in mud. Pretty much a total loss. The good news is I think the homeowners have flood insurance. They're confident that they can make a claim and hopefully recoup some of these damages. Reporting live in Acton, I'm Tom White. Back to you in the studio. And, Tom, are they actually living in that house tonight? Are they staying there for the night? Well, so they're staying on the property. They've got a trailer here, uh, and they are using the house. As you can see, they've got power inside the house, but there's concern about the water quality, even though there hasn't been any issued warnings yet, but still, that's an issue. But they are staying sort of on the property, as a lot of homeowners here are. Mm -hmm. there's, these are pretty big properties, so they have several options, but there's just a lot of damage. Yeah. Some of the homes just like are like this one where you just have the whole area covered in mud. All right, KCAL Lines, Tom White, live from Acton tonight. Thank you.